Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. It's me, John, the host. Anyway, today what I'm going to be doing is a food review. And today's food review is an ice cream. Uh, as I've mentioned before, Jenny's is my favorite uh, place that makes ice cream. Creamery? Is that what they call them? What do you call a place that makes ice cream? Ice cream makers? you got to be a for it. Anyway, a close, uh, one of the closest ones that I know of to Jenny is a brand called Van Leeuwen. I believe you pronounce it. It's L-E-E-U-W-E-N. So I say Leeuwen. Anyway, they came out with some interesting Walmart exclusive flavors. And I've tasted all of them except for one. And that one I'm going to be tasting for the first time in this video review. But before I'm going to go over the other ones, I'll tell you what I think. First off, we have the hot honey. And the hot honey has like bits of crispy honey. I don't know if it's like a honeycomb or something, but if you've ever had hot honey, they basically add like a little red pepper to the honey. So it has this combination of sweet and spicy. It's really good on fried chicken. Um, and in this ice cream, I will give it two thumbs up. The next flavor they had was wild blueberry shortcake. Pretty much what it seems. It's a shortcake. There's some blueberries in it. It's all right. It wasn't my favorite of the exclusives, but it was all right. Next up, we had bourbon cherries jubilee this is my least favorite of all the exclusives um it definitely had some cherries in it it had the cherry flavor to it i didn't get a lot of bourbon flavor though uh, which was disappointing and uh the container that i got when i got home i noticed it had like a cut in the side of it so like a section of it was a little bit freezer burned and didn't really um the texture was off in that area but uh, even other than that, the parts that were still good, it's kind of disappointing. The flavor just wasn't exciting. Um, an interesting one they had was called Planet Earth. It uh, was a blue color due to spiraling, which I believe is like a seaweed culture kind of thing. Um, it has a blue color and it had matcha cake bits in there that looked like, you know, like if you were looking at a globe for Earth, it would be blue with green specks for the land. Um, that one uh, was all right. The ice cream um, itself, other than being blue, was also flavored like almonds. Um, I enjoyed it. It was one of the, the better ones, I think. Royal Wedding Cake with Elderflower and Lemon. This one was all right, too. It had bits of cake in it. And the cake was a lemon flavored cake, and the ice cream itself was a sweet cream cheese flavor. Um, it also says it had elderberry frosting in it. Maybe I'm not I'm not an expert on what elderberry is supposed to taste like, so or sorry, elderflower. Um, typically, when food is flavored like flowers, it's not the best thing in my opinion i know a lot of people that do like it and uh they also had two other ones um the macaroni and cheese which i have already tried but i got it again um tasted the same i still like it uh one thing interesting that i did though this time uh when i tried last time I mentioned that it tastes similar to the cheese foam that goes on top of like a, a chai tea that you get a bubble tea store. Um, so I brewed up some chai tea. I just had an electric kettle, made some hot water, and I had like a bag of chai tea mix that I put into a tea bag, put some hot water over it, steeped it for a while to make some chai tea. I took a big scoop of that macaroni and cheese flavor ice cream put it on top 
as it melted, it kind of created somewhat of a foam top to it. It's definitely not the same uh, visually or textually as what the cheese foam that you put on a chai tea in a bubble shop, but um, it was a pretty good um, facsimile, especially for just getting something out of the freezer that you put a scoop on top of it. The flavor, however, was pretty much exactly how I remembered the cheese foam on top of a chai tea tasting. Uh, it had that tangy cheesiness um, as it melted and mixed in with the tea. It kind of like made the, the tea itself change from a, a clear to a more opaque cloudiness, kind of like a creamer would in a uh, tea or a coffee. Um, but the flavor was very good, very on point. Um, if you have some or see some in the store, I do recommend you try that. Uh, I enjoyed it. If I could have stopped myself from eating the whole pint afterwards, I would have uh, done it again. And maybe at some point, if I go and see them and they sell it in a store other than Walmart, because I don't like shopping at Walmart, so every time I get something from Walmart, I either get it shipped or delivered. Um, the other times I've been inside of Walmart have all been failures of trying to find things. Uh, the store's not put together well. The people that work there aren't very helpful. Um, usually new things aren't put out on the days that the company announces they're put out on due to delays or they're just in the back of the people haven't put them out yet or just like they haven't shipped them in time on the days they said they were going to ship them. Uh, so that's why I don't like going into a Walmart to try to find these things. And then the final flavor is what I have in front of me. This is Van Leeuwen pizza flavor ice cream. Now the pizza flavored ice cream uh, I'll read the description of this. Nothing makes us happier than this pizza ice cream. Who said you can't have the best of both worlds? Not us. So put aside any notion that you can't have your pizza and ice cream together in one crazy, but crazy delicious flavor. Truthfully, the one thing missing is the salad course, but we'll save that for another day. How could you do it? Salad ice cream sounds terrible. Did I mention what's in here? Cream, milk, cane sugar, tomatoes, unbeat bleached flour, brown sugar, cream cheese, egg yolks, water, canola oil, invert sugar, mozzarella cheese, powder, spices, cornstarch, tapioca starch, pectin, lemon juice, sea salt, citric acid, soy less than baking soda. So it seems like there's definitely a dough, pizza dough kind of thing in here because it's flour. There's cream cheese and mozzarella cheese, and there's also tomatoes. And this says, Dear Mouth, enjoy sincerely, Lid. Open it up. Here's what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of got like a little bit of a yellowy color to it. Got a tomato -y swirl, and it looks like there's like bits of pizza dough type mm -hmm. material in here. Um, I imagine the ice cream itself has like the cream cheese and mozzarella flavor in it. Being cold doesn't really have too much of an odor coming off of it. This also has a bit of a, a cheesy flavor to the ice cream. I wouldn't I don't know if I'm necessarily getting a pizza flavor from this.
the uh, swirl of tomato. Let me see if I can just like a bunch of that. So I can really concentrate the flavor of tomato in a bite. It's not really tomatoey. It is tomatoes. But I guess like when you take tomatoes and make it into like a sugary syrup, it's going to taste a little bit different. There's a bit of a savoriness to it. I think. Yeah, I got a good taste of it that time. It reminds me of a sun dried tomato. The sun dried tomato, you know, a big whole tomato, and you shrivel it down to just a little bit. And all like the flavors concentrate in there. Maybe like a deeper, richer, darker flavor. And that's the tomatoiness that I'm getting from this. You get a bit, of, a bit of a cheesiness from the ice cream base. You get like this sort of rich, savory, but also very sweet sun-dried tomato flavor. I don't think there might be a little bit of Spices, maybe, that are added to that tomato. Are there spices in this? There's, let's say spices. So maybe the spices like oregano or basil or something like that. The, the pizza dough chunks. You can see it in that bite. doesn't really taste like pizza dough at all. It's kind of a chewy sugar cookie type flavor, which I suppose it's probably very difficult to get a pizza dough flavor into a cold mix. It's interesting. It's weird. I like the cheesiness of it. The pizza dough chunks, although don't really remind me of pizza dough, I do like the texture of the flavor. And it tastes like a, a shortbread cookie. And really, Unless you get a lot of the tomato in a bite, the cheesiness of the ice cream kind of overwhelms the overall flavor, in my opinion. It's not bad. It just doesn't taste reminiscent of pizza at all. It's like a sun-dried tomato shortbread cookie flavor. Um, that being said, if I'm going to compare that to all the Walmart exclusive flavors that Bad Moon came out with, Hot Honey was my favorite out of all of them. Uh, the honey flavoring Plus, like the like the crystally crunchy pieces, I had a really nice like sticky sweet crunch, and then that contrast with that chili that's in the hot honey. I very much enjoyed. Um, after the hot honey one, it's kind of a toss up between the Planet Earth, the wedding cake, and this pizza one. They all have the similar where they have like a, a cakey or cookie like dough mixed into it. Um, then the, the blueberry shortcake after that one, 
And then the bourbon cherry jubilee was my least favorite of all. Um, seven total exclusive flavors. Um, I probably wouldn't get this one again. Of all of them, uh, hot honey is probably the only one I would really search out and try again. And the macaroni and cheese one as well. Those, that one, I didn't really include that because not a new exclusive, but it was included as one of the Walmart exclusives when they sold all these. Um, I'll finish this. It's good. It's good enough to eat. Uh, I don't dislike it. Van Lee one's base ice cream has a very nice texture to it and flavor. You know, you swing and you miss sometimes. And sometimes, like the Kraft macaroni and cheese one, you make something that both sounds weird and interesting, but also tastes really good, at least to me. Um, in the comment section below, let me know if you've tried the pizza, Van Lee Woods ice cream, or any of the other exclusive flavors and tell me what you thought about it. And once again, try the macaroni and cheese ice cream Put a scoop of that on top of a, a chai tea, a uh, hot chai tea, so it can melt and form like that foam and mix in with it very well. Um, I really liked it. Van Lee pizza ice cream. Mm, decent. But not my favorite, clearly. We will see you on the next video. Don't forget to th give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you see more of my videos. Um, currently I have a backlog of things that I need to edit. So a lot of my videos coming out will probably seem like they are dated. It's because they are. But uh, they're coming out soon at some point. I try to get them out in the order that I record them. Uh, Probably 90% of the time at least. But, like I said, there's a backlog early. And editing videos is my least favorite thing to do for the channel. But I gotta do it. Anyway, see you in the next one.